he has to come and talk to us. He can't just say, my way or the highway, I've got a phone, I've got a pen, and by golly, if you don't give me what I want, I'll do it anyway. That's not sort of, that's sort of the tone of a bully. That's not the tone of somebody who wants to work with Congress. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul last night with Brett Baer here is assessment of uh, the uh, president's speech. A lot of reaction last night. Republicans making it clear they were not impressed. Uh, Republican Kevin McCarthy, House Majority Whip, sir, good morning to you. Thank you for good your morning. time. Um, Thanks we, for me. We, we say Republicans weren't impressed. I don't know. Did you think you would be? Did, did, did you well, think any Republican would be? What did you make of it? <laughs> well, I, I was hopeful I'd hear something new, something about the economy. But the idea that just what Rand Paul was even talking about there, that the president has a phone and a pen, but we all have a constitution and you can't go around it. But more importantly, he ought to use that phone to pick up and call Harry Reid and pass those more than 160 bills that we passed the House that sit over in the Senate. He talks about a a jobs bill. Well, we have the Skills Act about jobs training sitting in the Senate and use the pen to sign it. Those are the things we want to work together on, but the threats really don't do much for America or a new direction. Yeah, let, me, let me be clear on this. Is there anything on the docket in terms of meetings or discussions happening between Republican leadership, be it on the House side or the Senate side in the White House? Any at all? I, I, I don't see any or have any on my schedule as of today. We're going away on our issues retreat uh, this weekend as Republicans talking about it. Um, so hopefully that we could get somewhere. I mean, that's a much better way to do it than just threatening people my well, well, way what or about, no way. What about in the coming days or weeks or months? I mean, do, do you see anything on uh, how unusual would it be if there is no direct communication with the White House? Well, that's kind of been what's been going on for quite some time. Uh, there was a time when we were in a crisis that we kept saying we wanted to meet with the president. He said he wouldn't talk to us. So those are difficult times. Hopefully it's a new year. It's a time to think anew and act anew. And this is a time to put people first and let's, let's focus on the economy. Let's do some job creation. The president did say in trade, we'll deal with trade. We'll work on trade. Let, tax reform. Republicans want to have tax reform to expand the economic base. There are places. Energy. We could become energy independent. The president talked about successes, but on public lands, energy has gone down 17 percent with his regulations. So there's lots of places that we should be able to work together. Uh, on the very beginning of the speech, I think it was the first or second paragraph, he referred to the government shutdown. It was stacked right near the top of the speech. What did you make of that? Well not just there but also throughout it seemed as though the speech was put through almost politics he wants to find places to divide us as many know we funded the government all the way we wanted to talk about things that we said this health care plan would not succeed and i think when he looks in hindsight he probably should have taken us up on our offer well, at that time well, speaking of health care i mean by my count he spent about four minutes on it um, and, and the first mention of the affordable care act came 39 minutes in. Did you pick up on that? Well, he knows it's not going well. He was trying to keep the Democrats together on that, but I think he's even put them in a worse position. The Democrats all stood up and applauded. Well, if you're some of those senators up for tough re-elections and you voted for that, you don't want to talk about Obamacare and you definitely don't want that president in your state campaigning about it. Um, it's going to remind the pu public of what they're so frustrated with. More people have lost their health insurance than have signed up. And those are just the numbers. He can't convince people otherwise. Ten months to go before midterms, it will be talked about. Kevin McCarthy, appreciate your time. Thanks for having From me. From Capitol Hill, we'll speak again. Thank you.